know the gang, know the gang, know the gang. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be going over a few coin methods to help you upgrade your coin count. Now, I've been using a few of these methods over the past 24 hours to help me go from 100,000 coins up to about 800,000 coins. If I give you a breakdown on rolls, how to give yourself better peck odds. If I show you in the video to do 65 to 75 K worth of coins, do not turn around and go do 250,000 to try to one up the method that I am showing you. I am showing you a method to help you have a better chance at making profit or don't lose as much. Let's get into today's shout out. We got a shout out to Bane NWO. We got a shout out to Brando and another shout out to Aaron Stark 19. If you want to be shouted out in the video, make sure that your notifications is on. You are subbed to the channel and be active. That's it. Go in the comment section and say no to gang. Let's get into today's Madden 22 coin method. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. The first method we're going to go over that I've been utilizing is sniping Campus Heroes 94 overalls and then turning them into a coin profit. What do I mean by that? As you can see, I grabbed this card for 101,000 coins. 101,000 coins. I got both of these for 105,000 coins. Okay? Now, the whole plan is to take these higher overalls, 94 overalls. You're going to be able to quick sell them for about 19,000 to 20,000 training. Okay? So, these two cards right here, if I was to quick sell these two cards, that would put me close to 40,000 training now what am i gonna do with the forty thousand training i spent two hundred and two thousand coins and with this forty thousand training i'm gonna take it over to part number two so now that we have our training and we got both snipes for very very cheap i'm gonna come to this 91 plus overall heavyweights player now make sure before you do this you check the prices that's the number one thing i always check the prices on mutt gg to see how many sold in the past hour if i see at least four to five sales in the past hour and i see them at a price that's going to help me make profit then i would do it otherwise i would do rising stars if they are on the rise but for right now this method was working for the heavyweights now 91 plus if you pull a 91 there's only one card where it's going to be under 50,000 coins. The problem is a lot of y'all see a price on the auction house and you undercut yourself. That makes it turn into a spiral. Okay. If you pull a 91, do not put it up less than 53,000 coins for eight hours. If you pull a 92, do not put it up for less than 65,000 coins okay now if you do the math all total to get the forty thousand training with the snipes that i got so you will be spending two hundred and eight thousand coins on 294s and then you might want to get a couple 85s you can snipe 85s i got a couple for about 1700 coins 2800 coins 3200 coins so if you was to get three more of them for about another seven to eight k snipe total you will be spending around 211,000 coins at the most. Now, if you break down what I sold all my pieces for, now what I sold my four pieces back was 55,000, 62,000, 69,000, and 72,000. That's gonna give me about 258 to 260K. Remember, you are making the cards for 210 to 212K. You can see after taxes out of 258,000 coins, you're going to take 25,000 off. That's going to leave you with about 233 to 235,000 coins. 235,000 minus 210 to 212,000 is going to leave you between a 14 
thousand and eighteen or nineteen thousand profit every single time now if you look on my recent bids i got an 85 overall right here for 1600 coins so it's a chance that you get them for 3950 3000 1600 now if you come down here even more 2500 so you have an opportunity to get great great bids now let's look at my auctions my recent auctions i was able to sell the players i pulled 392s and 191 okay so 69,000 72,000 68,000 and 54,000 even though it shows that it might be one of these 91s up for 46k i am going to put it up for the max price so once they take taxes off i know that i am making profit do not undercut yourself 68k right here i am not going to put it up for the 62,000 72k i'm going to put it up for the max that i know it will sell at you got to know how the market works so that is an easy 14 to 20k profit super super fast number one you are getting the 94s for the cheapest price possible if you can snipe these 94s like I've been doing, you've seen 101K. You are getting way under nine per. You're gonna need training two times a week. So the same cards that you are sniping for 101K coins, if you do the whole technique, sometimes you gotta learn how to hold valuable cards. The same card will go back up to about 124, 125,000 coins. That right there will be an easy, 12 to 15,000 profit if you are a little patient when it comes to getting very, very good deals. So if you want to generate a lot of coins, I showed you the pull in the peck method yesterday. A lot of haters was in the comment section, but we appreciate haters just like we appreciate supporters. So go do this method, snipe your 94 overalls for 101K. You're going to get two of them. That'd be 202 thousand coins that will give you about forty thousand training take that forty thousand training go re-roll it in the 91 plus heavyweights you're going to get four different opportunities with that as you can see you can pull very very good cards that's going to make you quick profit over and over and over or you can grab these same cards sit and wait until tomorrow when training is needed these cards will go up another 15k coins that would be 10 20 30 40 another 40 thousand profit that you could possibly make drop a thumbs up on the video and get some profit